And here we are at 8.05 and on the line this morning, a very special young lady has joined us to talk about a very special event here in Crawford County coming up May 15th. But first, let me introduce Diana Blood. She's the area coordinator, director, extraordinaire leader of Cans for Wishes, which is a part of Make-A-Wish Foundation. Good morning, Diana. Good morning. What an introduction. Well, you deserve it. Well, you're extraordinaire. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. We're so happy that you could join us this morning. Now, you are part of Make-A-Wish yourself for 15 years, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. So 15 years you've been working with Make-A-Wish, and last year around this time, maybe coming up around this time in June, was it? That you were approached by someone at Make-A-Wish, and what did they say to you? Well, because of the COVID pandemic, Make-A-Wish had taken a big hit on their um, fundraising opportunities, and so they reached out to us volunteers and said, is there any way that any of you might be able to do some fundraising for us? Uh, Gave us lots of different options, and that's when the idea for Cans for Wishes was born. I knew um, my grandfather used to collect aluminum cans and, uh, you know, take them and take the money to the local Christian school. And I thought, yeah, he'd make quite a bit of money doing that. I bet I could do the same thing. And uh, we started off with aluminum cans. We have since grown to appliances, uh, vehicles, taking home vehicles in. So if it's metal, we've recycled it uh, for Cans for Wishes. Which is amazing. And, Diana, I love the fact that you are you were inspired by your own grandfather to carry that over into Cans for Wishes, which now, as a Facebook group, has 1.8 thousand members. That's 1,800 yeah. people in this area that have joined because of you and John and the whole crew since June of yeah. last year. And tell our audience how much you've raised towards Cans for Wishes, for wishes for young people. Right. Well, we are at a little over $30,000 since last June. <laughs> that is Just. remarkable. That Just, is, yeah. I, I can't That's even awesome. begin to say how remarkable that is. And you haven't done it alone. You've coordinated some amazing volunteers who have done everything from attach a trailer to their truck to uh, hurt their back <laughs> to get oh. these appliances oh. to area recycling uh, companies. Now, there's is there three now that are behind your efforts? Um, well, we, we we do have a wonderful group of volunteers that are with us. Um, John Newhart being one of them. My husband Doug. My mom Jerry Powell and uh, Christine Hamer and Mark Hamer and just so many other people that have been behind us with this. And right now we're currently working with um, three different groups in helping us recycle. Uh, We are working with Lincoln Recycling in Meadville, Mm -hmm. and we're also working with Connect Recycling in Ashtabula. And then we also have Swanson & Sons um, service. They pick up trash, like they're a garbage service, but they have been bringing us their um, customers' recyclables for us. So they're picking them up on their route That's and bringing amazing. them to us. Yeah. Just amazing. I am I am just stunned by what you've coordinated, and it just seems to get bigger and bigger. Now you're going to be a part of the Go Topless Day, which is going to be hosted yeah. locally at Willie G's. And before anybody says, well, I want to take my top off like Wheatfield did, um, Don't this you be is, pointing fingers. <laughs> <laughs> this is just for Jeep owners. No, it's not. It's open to the public, so anybody can come, whether you have a Jeep or not. But if you do, and you donate and register online at extremeterrain.com, it costs you $10 per Jeep. If uh-huh. we have 50 people and this event raises 500 Extreme Terrain will match that $500 donation. Plus, you're going to have kind of a little grounds festival with a T-shirt sale, Chinese auction, and an opportunity for people to bring their cans and appliances, etc., to you at Willie G's, correct? Yes, that's correct. Usually, Cans for Wishes has a monthly drop-off date, and it's usually held at Don and Rebecca Newhart's house. However, next month, we're going to have that drop-off date at Willie G's. We're just going to make a big old day out of it. It's going to so, be so much fun. Yeah. So is, is it still 10 bucks if I show up in a Prius? <laughs> um, well, it's if 20. you show up in a Prius, what, yes, yeah, 20. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. We would love to see you show up in a Prius. It just can't hang with the other Jeeps. You yeah. know, oh, it's, it's, they have a special oh, Prius so wave. It's, it's Jeep Envy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. The Priuses have a special wave. So, Diana, yeah, you if, gotta, you're, move to the back of the line, please. Yeah. If I miss saying it, the, that day is um, the annual Go Topless Day. It's been going on for 14 years. Well, this is number 14. And it's going to happen Saturday, May 15th, locally at Willie G's, starting at 1 o'clock. If you do bring a Jeep, you'll receive a cheap uh, chip for a free sandwich. <laughs> yeah, you'll receive a cheap. Jeep. I told you, I'm having a rough day. A anyway, for a sandwich. Yeah. you'll receive a cheap for a free sandwich. Yeah, um, but they'll also have a Chinese auction, a T-shirt sale, and of course, food and beverages at Willie G's. All proceeds will benefit Cans for Wishes. And Diana, just so that people know, how many wishes have you granted since last June? Is it seven now? Is that correct? We are at six, and we okay. are just, just almost there for wish number seven. That is outstanding. What a wonderful, wonderful thing you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. It's been very rewarding and so exciting to be able to do this and to get back to the community. And really, the, it has been a community event. I could not do any of this, definitely with, not without Cool 101. I mean, you have been wonderful in advertising for us hey. and helping get the word out it's there. What we we do. appreciate it. We yeah. really do. Well, you, you have to understand that, you know, Crawford County is probably one of the leading communities that just opens their hearts and their and their wallets and just gives every time there's a need. And I've, I've heard of this and I've seen it many times and I've been on I've been doing this uh, going on six years now. They step up to this plate every single time they're asked. Yep. This community does. That is yep. correct. And they yep. and they've never, never failed to come through and help a person who needed a hand up or and, and to do the right thing. It's just, it's truly amazing area to live in. So I, you're absolutely right. Yep. I have a, I have a question for you though. If somebody okay. is not on Facebook, is there a way that they can contact you and reach out to help if, whether they have something they'd like to donate or maybe even uh, bring for the Chinese auction to help you guys out? Sure. They can email me oh. at cans for wishes at yahoo.com that would be the best way to get a hold of me so cans for wishes at yahoo.com email me let me know uh if you have any questions comments concerns something you might want to donate and i will get back to you as soon as i can that would probably be the quickest way to get a hold of me okay and we'll tell people also that they're more than welcome to contact us here at the station we'll get information to you as well I do have a couple of listeners who have told us that they're not on Facebook, they're not online, so we want to make sure that we get as much support for your event as possible and encourage people to come on May 15th and join Cans for Wishes on Facebook because it's a great place to see what you've done in the last nearly a year. It's You're going on a yeah. year. That's awesome. It's coming up on a year. It was born on June, June 1st of 2020. And yeah, we're coming up on a year, and I, I like to try to keep things light and positive and informative in that group. Because um, a lot of people have said to me, you, you get on Facebook, you get on other social media, and sometimes it's just so negative and it's just so down. But when you get on Cans for Wishes, I might share a funny cartoon or a fun story or pictures, and it's just trying to make it a happy, uplifting place where everybody can get involved and just enjoy uh, being a part of Cans for Wishes. Well, we applaud you, everything you've done, your volunteers and everybody who's behind your efforts. And we encourage everybody to take part in whatever way you can. If you can't be there May 15th, join Cans for Wishes and reach out to Diana and tell her how you can help. Stop in and see us sometime, yeah. too. Yeah, we'd love that. Yeah. Absolutely. Let me yeah. know when, I'll come in. You okay. come in anytime you want. Just bring food. <laughs> bring food. I'll bring some donuts. <gasps> okay. You're in. Yeah. <laughs> you solidified your spot. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much for your time, Diane. I know you're a busy lady. You're on to another interview. So have a wonderful day. And here's to Cans for Wishes. Going strong. Thank you. Thank have you a wonderful so day and thank you. Thank you. you Bye. Okay. Take care. Okay, thanks. That's Diana Blood from this area's Cans for Wishes. Seems like a wonderful young she lady. She is, and she's been devoted to this cause for 15 years. When we say it's been a year, that's just for the Cans for Wishes part of it. So. Yeah.
Um, she's just mean as she is tireless at giving. Yeah, and you it's don't, amazing. You see those people. Yeah, yeah. It's so not easy to coordinate that no. much no. activity. No, that's a, that's no. a huge undertaking. It's a huge undertaking, and yeah. the length of it. Like it's one thing to be like, "All right, we got this event one day, yeah. and then that's it." No, yeah. that's it's, not how this works. No, it's where can we get more cans? Where can we yeah. have people drop their junk off? So, I mean, and kudos to the businesses that are, you know, helping her. Well, it's been amazing. It's like a uh, snowball that has become an avalanche. And a good snowball. Yes, yes, we really enjoy that. We don't, uh, we we want to encourage sunballs right now. <laughs> sunballs. Well, I'm just, you know, maybe that's not the right word. <laughs> fireball, maybe? I don't know. All right, a fireballs. Sunball. <laughs> 8-16 after Friday. Welcome to the morning show. <laughs>